All right, guys, today we're going to be talking about the deadlift and how to scale the deadlift. Before we get into that, I want everybody to understand that proper movement patterns are going to allow us to move the largest loads, do more repetitions faster, or both. That mechanics are the ideal support and bridge to consistency and intensity. Now that we have that clear, let's get into the deadlift. So for the deadlift, we want to start with a hip width stance, hands just outside of the hips, full grip on the bar, shoulders slightly in front of the bar, and a lumbar curve maintained. Our hips and shoulders are going to rise at the same rate. The bar moves over the middle of the foot, heels down, movement is finished at full hip and knee extension with shoulders behind the bar. Now, sometimes newer athletes have trouble maintaining a uh, lumbar curve or a stable midline. So as they reach the bottom of the deadlift, they reach for the floor. All right, so if we have a tendency to reach for the floor or we can't maintain that lumbar curve or we crunch at the midline, here's something we can do to kind of adjust for that. We can have an elevated surface and we can start from there. As we build the flexibility and the core strength to cover that range of motion, we can just start decreasing the height of that elevated surface until we've completed the deadlift at full range of motion. All right, there you go, guys. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please post them below.